Hello everybody and welcome back to another set of Genshin Impact. How many Prime Gems can one single man save in one single year of playing the game? We are playing Genshin Impact every single day for a year starting on the 1st of November and ending on the, of 2020 and ending on the 1st of November 2021. So without further ado, let's get back into it guys. It is today the 6th of December. This is week number 5. And we're here, of course, to play some Genshin Impact, get a couple more Prime Gems and see where we're sitting at the top. Unfortunately, there won't be much more rolling involved as uh, I've used up all my free rolls the game has given me. So we're waiting to get a, a nice 10 roll again for free rolls. So we won't be having rolls for a few more few more episodes, I'm assuming, guys. But they are giving out quite a few, lot of free rolls coming soon in version 1.2. So hopefully with those free rolls, we might be able to have a couple of rolls for a couple of weeks. Hopefully. So without further ado, let's get into it. What do we need to do to start off the episode? Well, first thing we need to do are the daily quests. So let's do those and get them taken care of as ASAP, as they say. Just want to rush them, really. We don't want to spend too much time doing the daily quests anymore. You guys get the picture. We do the daily quests. We get the Prime Gems there. We do the event. We get the Prime Gems there. And we check our total Prime Gems for the day. Of course, we're going to have to check our mail as the game was so generous to hand out pretty much five free rolls for everybody. Uh, to say thank you for just playing Genshin Impact, so I thought that was pretty cool. Honestly, I was like, that's that's actually a nice, that's actually really nice. So, thanks to the, uh, thank you game for you know being generous enough to hand your player base three rolls, uh, basically five rolls over a four day period. But as you guys know, the difference with the mail and with other things such as uh, if we want to go with, for instance, we want to go for with instance, um, what do they call that other thing? Uh, like dailies and things, those are every day. But of course, mails you can um, you can pick up within a month of it being sent. So even if we didn't pick up the mails during this event, you know you still have a whole entire month to notice it and get the Gucci stuff. So it's, it's perfect. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's of course another event going right now called the gliding, flying, whatever you want to call it, event where where we glide. I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory. Basically, uh, you got to do a little bit of a gliding challenge, collect a couple of coins along the way, Mario Brothers style. And you get a bunch of free shit. What's so, you know, obviously, I'm trying my best to do as many of those as possible, but it ain't easy. It ain't easy. Sometimes it's a chest show. No. Um, some of them are really hard, and I suck with the gliding, as you've all noticed, I'm pretty sure. So, for me, it's even harder. But yeah, it, it can get a little bit difficult, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think they can get a little bit difficult. So. Nope. Don't throw me to your random stuff, sir. <laughs> Uh, as I said, we're gonna pretty much just be trying to speed run the dailies uh, as much as fast as we can because we do have to do the gliding challenge in this episode. And yeah, that's gonna make a difference. So, actually, we had a goal of 12,000 Prime Gems for this by uh, week 5, guys. Uh, we hit 11,000 in the last episode pretty easily. Uh, so, our main goal was for like 12,000. Of course, uh, thanks to the event, that was a very easy, easy get. I, of course, also do the daily grinds every day for Prime Gems, as I have to. Because it, be, it would be disingenuous to tell you that this is how many Prime Gems you can get if I don't actually grind all the grindable Prime Gems. Remember, guys, as long as we grind it, or do a survey for it, or do an event for it, or get it given it to us for free by the game, or anything along those lines that doesn't involve us paying real-life money for it, that counts as a... A freebie, and if it's a freebie, then uh, we're allowed to get it. We're just never ever allowed to spend money. That's where the big suit comes in, guys. This is 100% free to play for the reason that we never want to spend money on it. Now, let me wrong on my other account. I've spent $135 already. Um, quite a lot of money for me personally. It's it's actually way too much money for me, but. I was very fortunate this year to receive a little bit more funds from a place which I don't usually receive funds. So I found myself in a position where I had a few extra bucks lying around. To spend on the game, I'm, I put in like so much time in. I've been playing this game for the last like three months every day. And more like two months every day. So, you know, Genshin Impact is definitely giving me the, the value for money. As they say, I'm getting my value for money. Um, and because of that, I don't mind dropping some money on it. So I've spent 135 dollars total on my main account uh, on this account obviously zero and it's going to be very interesting to see in a year's time even though my main account's a year and one month old and what is one month older than this account it's going to be very interesting to see when i hit that time frame 
of November 2021 what the two accounts look like how different they are how much stronger is, is my non free to play account that I'm actually allowed to get as many things as I want compared to my uh, alternate account which is this one where I'm not allowed to spend a single cent because I'm thinking the fact that we just like we can use all the primogems we get for raising grinding and farming and things like that and stuff like that obviously means that we're going to be stronger in the main account right that is that logically makes sense if we are equally strong in the main account and the free to play account in one year's time well then it just goes to show it's a very good example and why i actually decided to do this to show that you don't need to spend any money on genshin impact and still have a very successful Genshin Impact experience. So that is mainly what has driven me to uh, this, to doing this, and also it was fun. I thought it would be pretty fun. Hello, Eileen. Your quests suck, by the way. You always want me to destroy these things, and it's really frustrating and hard to do because I don't have good characters to do it with. I don't have clear. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Oh, it's the worst one, too. These ones are bad. These ones are really hard to do. Amber in my party. Amber makes this doable, but it's still very, very hard to do. You gotta be pretty fast. After Amber's bunny explodes, you need to be like wide awake for the next part. So you will kind of replace Amber's bunny like right there. Take out those three. Get a character that has like a AOE thing like this. And then as soon as Amber's bunny explodes, right now, you lose this. And it's so done. that's okay. how to do it. Yes. Without Amber, it's pretty much impossible. So, everyone out there who's an Amber hater, look who's the fool now. Look who's the fool now. Obviously, every week I'm doing the bounties and I'm doing the quests and I'm doing all the raising grinding on the character. So I do play this character completely as if it was a main one of my main as if it was my main account actually. But um, I definitely have not progressed the story as much or even explored leeway as much. <laughs> As I need to to actually start doing more of the game. So right now I'm still kind of stuck in the monster zone, uh, just taking really slow, taking really slow, having a good time playing the game. So that's that beautiful. And now our last but certainly not least thing we need to do is the gliding challenge. So I think the gliding challenge is there, but I think I have to actually activate it first. Seize the day. Thank you. Also, we're getting primogems from Seize the Day. We've got 100 primogems already. Tomorrow we'll get another 200. So that's a huge boost to our our primogem income and as you see these are the challenges you can do every day the gliding challenges and they give up to 60 primogems too so guys it's just a really nice way to get a lot of free primogems the game is very generous in the primogem sense it gives you the primogems you need it gives you the primogems you need you just need to you just need to do the grind baby you just need to play the game every day if you play the game every day the game will be very generous what's the hurry? and you will not have to spend money in my opinion because i'm pretty strong I mean, I'm only a monster. I haven't really progressed the story at all. I literally, I've unlocked a lot of leeway by just running straight for the waypoints. Literally running. I wasn't gonna kill you, but then you attack me, so then you have to die. Uh, by running straight for the, leeway, the uh, waypoints, unlocking it. But the actual exploration leeway, I've only done like three areas mainly, but basically. So this challenge, this one, this one grinding is pretty hard, guys. It's a hard one. I don't like these wind grinding challenges because. Mainly I suck at them is the main reason, but also because they're actually just really hard to do. And I don't want to do hard stuff because it's not fun. So basically, you glide around, you pick up as many of these things as you can. And then eventually you're going to have to go up because eventually you're going to run out of like stamina. Or well, not stamina, but more like uh, your gliding, sprinting speed. You're gonna have to go up and that that uses a lot of time so that kind of sucks like you don't really want to do that but you have to because you need to go come a little bit a little bit low so a little bit high so i'm gonna go a little bit low there there we go it's fine okay now this one's where it gets a little bit complicated you gotta do like this weird awkward turn and then you gotta like kind of do this you need to go a little bit low because i need a boost i don't have a boost i wait we have an e though so we can use our e here to advantage and then use that to kind of give us a mini boost and this should be enough to make it all the way to the end a little bit of e here beautiful beautiful e again e, 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 e. we need one more coin there it is e again and da, 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 da. and beautiful now we can just kind of fall and glide 
And fall and glide. And we'll get reasonably close and we will challenge done. Whew, hopefully we get the uh, gold on the first ghost we have to win. Yes, we do. Beautiful. To get gold, you just need more than 30,000 points. So we did it. That's absolutely amazing for us. So gliding challenge, quest details. And you can see here you get three uh, heroes wits, which is amazing. Some um, more too, which is just useful. Uh, books, which are good. And more, which is useful. And then most importantly, of course, more primogen, baby. You got to get that primogen lifestyle. Okay, so daily's done. Event done. Let's just check here. Is there anything else? Mail we need to collect. Yes, we do. Claim another 200 primogen gems. I'm going to claim all to make sure I've got them. Look at that, guys. 200 primogen gems. 200 primogen gems. 200 primogen gems. 200 primogen gems. 8. 100 primogems gems the game just gave you for free. The game was like, you know what? I think you need 800 primogems gems for free. Here you go. Enjoy. And I'm going to say, you know what, game? Thank you. Thank you very much. That helps a lot, especially for this primogen gem grind to show how much primogen gems you get. And that's what another thing about this game. The game is going to constantly be throwing us with events to get primogems, gems, males with free primogems. gems. Thank you, things. Goal reach points. And I'm assuming and maybe later on, even in the game, we might get things such as events or specials where they're selling primary gems at a low price or something like that. But we obviously won't be able to buy that on this main account. But I think I've spoken on, enough. Let's get moving. You guys don't care about We're this. All you want to see is the amount of wishes we have. How much primary gems we have grind. I mean, you know it from the thumbnail, but I'll show it off anyway in the video. It's almost as if it's a surprise, but it never really is because I put the amount in the thumbnail. So kind of a little bit of a counter to my own quality of content right there but i noticed when once i started putting the amount of primary gems on the thumbnails that we get people were more interested in it so we'll keep doing it like that for now so let's go without further ado how many primary gems do we have at the end of week five with the events that have been given as well as the free primary gems in the mail while we prepare for version 1.2 let's go 13,251 primary gems 13,251 primary gems granted in the short time span of five weeks of playing the game for about an hour a day about an hour a day sometimes a little long on weekends sometimes on weekends i'll play for like three or four hours but that's when i do story later things to continue but there was a big a big gap between week and two and week five where i didn't do any story later uh, things so we i didn't get any um prime gems for story related things or prime gems for finding chests or prime gems for finding rail points or telepoint spheres or anything like that as domains etc etc so there's still quite a few prime gems out there in the wild for us to get but we'll get there when we get there for now though let's uh look at how much wish we have on our main banner five once the game gives us five extra free wishes hopefully Hopefully, 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 hopefully one more time before the end of the year. I'm thinking Christmas might have a little bit of Christmas special, although I don't know. I think Chinese they have a different Christmas, so I'm not sure if they would. But uh, hopefully they give us some more free acquaintance. We'll get acquainted with adventure rank level ups eventually and etc, etc. We will definitely get more of these wishes, but not right now. That is the kind of thing. We're also going to be popping our achievement primary gems at the end of the month of December month. but for now thank you guys very much for watching week five of the how many primary gems can we save in one year i truly hope you guys are enjoying this mini series just bring us a little update video every week while we see how many primary gems we can actually gain i'm hoping for a total of at least 100,000 by the end of this beautiful one year time frame for now thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time more genshin impact